two words, Antonio Brown. Take it from there, Mike. What the, what the, what are we Man, doing? Antonio, Antonio, look, we, we go back to our days in Pittsburgh. I didn't spend a lot of time with him, but me and him had a couple back and forth rips over me not uh, getting him the ball and rightfully so. Antonio had every right and had the liberty to, to speak out on certain things. And, you know, I just thought it was a player who, and I know how receivers can be sometimes. Sometimes they, they, they're a little self-centered and they want the rock and that's okay. Thank you. But as time goes on, you know, as you grow older in this game, you know, you become a role model for so many after you. And even in my situation, everything I've been through, I realized at some point that I was a role model. And the people who gave me the opportunity uh, was giving me a second chance to become a role model, mm -hmm. constant teammate, a better man, a better individual. And, and I think that's, that's what Antonio Brown got, got to excel at right now. He got to become a better, you know, if he get a chance to play again, and I know I said on first things first that he might not never play again, who knows? He might still play again. But use this as an opportunity to look yourself in the mirror and say, man, regardless of what's going on around me, I just got to be better. And, and I can overcome whatever said to me or whatever don't happen on the field. It's not that serious for me to degrade the game. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of too many people who would just walk off the field, man. The NFL is so good to us. They pay us and they give us opportunity to take care of our families for generations. And I think that need to be respected. That's unbelievable. That's, that's well said. I, 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 I totally respect that. I, I, I don't even need to ask if you ever seen anything like this because no one has. No one's ever saw a player kind of walk off in that, that type of fashion. Shit, man. That was sad. That was hard to watch. Yeah. Because you see an individual who like, you know, it, it's some struggle somewhere. And you that's got to get cleaned up for sure. I, I, I saw this a couple times in practice. I've certainly seen fights in practice. I've seen fights between players and coaches in practice. I've seen a guy throw his jersey at a coach in practice and never be brought back. I have never seen anything at a game yeah. like this. Oh. He's at basketball games. He's partying with Fabulous. What are we doing here? He's hanging out. I mean, obviously, he knows something that we might not know, so we can't speculate too much on it. Um, I just wish him the best on all the courts, and I hope – I hope that this work out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and I hope Antonio Brown land on his feet somehow, some way. It is a profession. And so everyone has yeah. an agenda and, and, and Antonio Brown and his safety, his, 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 his own health and well being is not thought of as part of that agenda. And I think you, you touched on it really well as he has a chance to be a role model here. Um, and that's where he's really dropping the ball. That's sad to say that's well, that's well said. I never really thought of it like that. I mean, you got to understand, you know, years from now, his family going to look back at, you know, his actions and his character. And I still have to struggle with that and deal with that sometimes. I still have to go through that. Yeah. In my mind, as a man, I care about that, that my kids going to they gonna read up on me. They're going to want to know what did daddy do to obtain a level of success and failures. And I, I respect that, you know. So, you know, I say all that for the, the betterment of, of Antonio Brown and – you know, all individuals abroad who watching this, who might look at this situation and be confused like everybody else. Hey man, look, it's not that serious. We all grew up, I know me and you, Dave, grew up wanting to play in the National Football League. And 95% of guys go through the league squeaky clean, never have a blip on their record, nothing happens, don't nobody go to prison, don't get arrested. And some guys, you know, 5% of us, we fall into that trap where some things may happen, but when you get that second chance and people believe in you, man, you got to appreciate that. You got to respect that. And I say all that from that perspective. Antonio might not like what I'm saying, but he know I'm coming to him as a brother. And I feel like, you know, even though I don't know what happened, you know, it's always ways to make amends, bro. It's not that serious. We, we all millionaires out here. I hear that.